Hey guys, it's Arcade and I'm back with another video and in this one I'm gonna show you how to edit the melody of a vocal or an a cappella without affecting the lyrics or the voice. Let's get started on that. So sometimes you have a vocal, it's really good, but it doesn't fit your chord progression or your song. It's Maybe it's in a different key or it's a minor key, not a major key. So there can be a lot of things that affect how a vocal fits into your song and sometimes it just doesn't. So today I want to show you how you can edit the melody of the vocal so it fits your chord progression. And this is not gonna like change the vocal to like super low voice or super high voice or whatever. It's gonna pretty much keep the vocal the same but you can affect what knows singer singing. Let's get to it. And yeah, my hair is slowly but surely growing back. Let's put on my headphones and before we get started I just wanted to mention my sample packs that are still on and I thought today I'm gonna do a big discount so use the code VOCAL and get $10 off. Uh, I prepared a little demo song here just so something is playing in the background of the vocal but let's say this would be your song that you already have prepared and you have a good vocal but it just doesn't fit. So here is the song. So yeah, really basic. It's just there so I can demonstrate. And here's the vocal. We could run in the light waves Together ignore all the sound waves So it's a nice vocal. It would be good in the song, but it's in a completely different key. It just doesn't, the melody just doesn't work with the chord progression that I have. So let's play it together so you can hear how off key it sounds. We could run in the light So yeah, as you can hear, the melody just doesn't fit the chord progression, so let's change that. So the first step, and what helps a lot, is to know the key of your song, but it's not 100% necessary, but it helps. What you can do is go to your chord progression, or like the main part of your song, for me it's the chord progression, and if you go to helpers, scale highlighting, automatic, and hover over your piano roll, it actually shows you the key in the top left corner. And I gotta say, this is not always 100% accurate, but it's a good starting point. Usually it gets the key right, but sometimes it doesn't. So yeah, I am pretty sure the key of this chord progression is D major. So now that we know the key, we can actually start working on the vocal. What I'm gonna do is uh, load up Newton, which you definitely need for this to work. So if you don't have it, definitely get it. Uh, if you are working with vocals, it's always good to have Newton. Uh, so load it up and double click the vocal that you have and just drag it into new tone we could run in the light waves. so it's here and we are ready to work with it so the first thing go to edit which is this icon and choose scale and for us it's going to be d major and the next thing we're going to do is go to edit again and choose snap to scale that means all the notes you can see here which is the vocal notes, will snap to the D major scale. And you can tell it's D major scale because all the notes in D major are highlighted and the dark ones are the ones you cannot really use. So let's just do snap to scale and all the notes moved to the D major scale. So right off the bat, the vocal should sound a lot better in the song. Let's just drag it in there and let's have a listen. Here we go. So yeah, already all the notes are in the right key. The melody is still not 100% great with the chord progression, but we can change that. But let's just have a comparison here. This is before. We could run in the light and this is after. We could run in the light 
So yeah, that's the first step. You could leave it at that if you want to. Uh, what I'm going to do is center it so everything is 100% in the right key. You don't have to do this, but I'm just going to go with that. And now we can actually manually edit this ourselves so we have the melody we desire. We could run in the light. Okay. We so just zoom in. We could run in the light. Wait. So for example, this one, I feel like it could be higher. We could run in the light waves. So yeah, for example, like that. So if you hear a note, you want to change it, just wait when this double arrow is there and drag it down or up. And you can actually preview how it's going to sound. And if you have the key right, just stick to the highlighted notes and the vocal will be in the right key. We can also decrease the variation so the vocal is not so shaky. However, that will make it a bit more uh, out of tuned and it's not going to be as natural. It's up to you. Also, maybe select these. No, maybe not. Together. <laughs> Together ignore Together ignore all the sound waves sound waves Yeah so you can just edit it however you want We could run in the light waves Together ignore all the sound waves How do we get how do we get so so brave how do we get how do we get so brave how do we get 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 so brave so brave and we could run. so yeah that's the first part of the vocal edited manually Again, you can change it to whatever you want. If you want a crazy melody, you can do that as well. But it always helps if you stick to the notes that are around the notes that has been there previously. Because if you go crazy, of course, the vocal is going to sound a bit off. We could run in the line waves. But you can do that as well. You can do any melody you want. In the line waves. So yeah, let's hear how this sounds. We could run in the light waves Together ignore all the sound waves How do we get, how do we get so brave? How do we get, how do we get so brave? So yeah, completely different melody from what we had at the beginning. We could run in the light So yeah, and that's pretty much it. That's the technique you can use to edit the melody of your vocal. If you want to make any edits uh, of one note, if you want to split it, you can just do so with this and then move it down. And you know, you have that note split to two pieces. So you can do even crazier things there. But essentially, this is the technique I wanted to show you. I'm actually making a song and I use this technique. That's why I thought I'm going to make a video about it because it's actually pretty useful. So yeah, I hope you learned something new and go try it out yourself. So get a vocal from Splice or an acapella of a already existing song and you can just edit it to your liking so it fits your song. Anyways, this has been a shorter tutorial, but I hope you enjoyed it. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. And also, don't forget to check out my sample packs, link below, use the code VOCAL to get $10 off. Yeah. Goodbye.